hello everyone welcome back so now we are going to do the CRUD operations so I'm going to come and delete this one because we have a method to fetch the information so now we need to write a method to insert the data to the table okay so insert data create a method and if you want to pass a parameter through runtime you can make a different kind of uh, uh, method signature you can pass the parameters here and you can use it in the inside the query okay for now I'm going to hard code the data anyway so the first thing always getting the connection and getting the cursor that is done so next thing we need to have the SQL statement okay I'm going to have a variable called p1 which will insert the person 1 so we need to know the syntax to insert a record into a table so this syntax is simple insert into table name which is nothing but persons in values if you know if you don't want to specific any table I mean any column names you can directly use values and you can provide all the values for the fields so I'm going to use one or two and I'm going to use an ID first name last name okay, that's enough okay so so what is the table structure last name and first name okay so what is the last name for I'm going to use my last name is Alroj and first name is Nancy and it's from second Main Street, Chennai. Okay, let's insert a uh, single uh, person information. Or okay, wait, we can we have multiple? Okay, let's have another person called P two and insert into in person ID three and Paul. First name is Carlson. Bridgetown and from London. Okay, now I have a two person information needs to be stored into the table. I have the connection ready, I have the course ready, and I have, do you have the SQL statements ready? So I need to execute the script. So I'm going to use a cursor to execute. So I'm going to insert P1 first. And I'm going to do the same thing for the person P2 as well. So maybe for fetch data, you don't need to put the commit. I mean, uh, you know, you don't need to put the commit and the close. But when you are doing DML process, like manipulating the data or playing with the data, you need to provide the commit and close properly. Okay. So let me uh, commit the connection and close the cursor and save it so now just make sure everything's in place uh, connection is there cursor is there and I do have the SQL statements here and I executed okay executed both of them so connection committed and the cursor closed properly and maybe we can have a message here person details added so now what else we need to call the method let's call it insert data save it now right click and run python file in terminal person it is added okay fine looks like it's worked fine but we need to check the table to make sure we got the data inserted properly 
two things either you can go to the uh, my sql developer and verify the data or else we already have a method to view the data you can call the fetch data method yeah, that will retrieve the data right anyway save it and right click and run see we got all the names because in our fetch data we printed the name so let's remove this and run it again right click and python file and terminal see we got all the employee information that is pretty cool right okay so we know how to fetch the data and we know how to insert the data in case i want to update some of the records for example i want to update the nancy's location or city so how are we going to do that so we are going to write another method to update the employee information okay fine update data so as we all know the first things connection and the cursor and then sql for update So what we are trying to do, we are trying to, so we are trying to update Nancy's location from Chennai to um, Hyderabad. Let's try that. So the A person ID is one or two. So update table name set um, city right. City equal to um, Hyderabad. Where and the person ID one not two. That's all. Now using the cursor, we are going to execute the SQL statement. update and commit and the close make sure you close the connection I mean commit the connection and close the cursor then and just put a message like saying uh, person details updated now right click and run the script so okay again we didn't call the method just call it update data right click and run in so here the python is updated so again we are not going to the SQL developer and verify data we have the method to verify that so call the fetch data here okay let me clear the console so it will be easy to see so now i have a fetch data method called let me execute that and python file and terminal okay something wrong again see arul raj nancy the location has been updated to hyderabad so this is how we need to update the data so what else is pending so we did the uh, select and we did the insert and we did the update obviously next one is the delete okay let's create a method for deleting a person delete record or simply delete data so connection and the cursor and SQL to delete so I'm going to delete the employee one or two or one or three so delete from persons where person ID equal to one or three okay so now execute 
the query with the help of cursor SQL delete connection dot commit and cursor dot close and just for our sake I'm going to add a print here saying person remote save it and uh, let's call the method delete data let's see what happened now I'm going to run this run person remote again no issues let's call the fetch data to see whether the one or three employee has I mean person has been removed just right click and run it again wow this is pretty cool my one or three is deleted one or two is updated with the help of updated data so this is how we need to work with the work with the Oracle database and one of the important thing is you need to know the syntax how you need to write a query in SQL and how you need to write a query in MySQL both are pretty much similar with simple difference okay so what we done so far we have a method to get the connection and we have a method to fetch the data and we have method to insert the data and we do have a method to update the data and delete so here you can call what other method you want so you can have the exercise if you want because if you see every method I mean all the methods here there is no parameters because all the information has been hard coded here which data needs to be updated and what needs to be updated and which record needs to be deleted everything is been hard coded so what you can do is you can pass the parameter here so you can say send the detail while calling the method okay you can pass the arguments to the method and add those arguments into your query so that will be dynamical that is a dynamic code okay I hope you guys enjoyed the chapter and please make sure you know the difference between the MySQL and the SQL because each of them using a different library and the syntax is pretty much similar or almost similar but only retrieving that or establishing a connection to the database is different okay just try it out and do let me know if you get stuck somewhere and um, we'll see each other in the next video thank you